back to the final first hangout, and today we're going to be reviewing the Mandalorian and Grogu Black series. First, let's look at the box. Since it does come with more things than just a figure, it is wider, and that does increase the cost. So, as you can see, it's just that classic, you know, Black series with the angle, but like I said, it's wider. Since it's the Mandalorian, it's got the orange box art, and on the side it has this, you know, cool drawing of the Mandalorian, and same on the back. Back says, a battle-worn bounty hunter making his way through a dangerous galaxy in an uncertain age and a mysterious alien pursued by bounty hunters on behalf of imperial interests. I can't really read the back with these sunglasses on, but that is what it says. So, you know, all around, you know, a nice box, like most boxes. Since the figure is from the episode where... They're on the snow planet and are attacked by giant spiders. He does have that, like, frosted aesthetic, so he has ice and snow all over his, um, what is usually silver Beskar armor. So, yeah, you can get a lot of that, uh, you know, blue ice with the silver underneath. And it looks, it's a, a great contrast, in my opinion. And they really nailed the shininess of the armor. Like, I can see the glare on the helmet and all that. He does have that uh, mud horn skull etched onto the uh, uh, shoulder plate. And yeah, you know what the Mandalorian looks like. So he has like, those boots, you know, all around, you know, it, it, it looks like the Mandalorian. This cape, it, it wants to come off, but it just, at the same time, just doesn't... Like, it looks like it come off can come off, but it can't, and I haven't gotten it to come off, so I wouldn't try that. This sniper, the Ambin Pulse Rifle, you know, it, it fits better in his hands than the Holiday Mandalorian Warrior, but again, with this stock, he can't really, you know, pull the trigger if you really wanted him to, so that's a little disappointing, but it looks good, you know, it's a good figure, and I'd say they represented him well. So, to boost the price, Hasbro decided to throw in uh, Grogu and that the, one of those spider things that attack them in the episode. So, uh, Grogu, or Baby Yoda, as he is more commonly called, looks like Baby Yoda. At the uh, bottom, like the hem of his cloak, he does have some frosty on him. But, you know, it's just, it re looks regular Baby Yoda. And... You know, that's good. He looks cute and all that. It comes with this stand that you can put him on with the open uh, spider egg that he eats. So you can arrange him to eat that if you'd like. And it also comes with that spider, like I said. Uh, these um, are totally poseable legs. And if they pop off, you can see they have a labeled number on them. So each hole is labeled. So if there's like eight legs, I believe. Yeah. Eight. Yeah, eight. Sorry, I just had to make sure. And um, so, you can just, I guess, make sure that you're putting it in the right socket, because they are numbered. And, you know, they got the look right, I'd say, but they didn't color the eyes of the spider, so they're just the same color as the rest of the spider. A little disappointing. And the way they made this, you can't really tell which way is the front, so... You just have to guess which way is, like, the front to, like, eat Baby Yoda, I guess, so. Uh, yeah, I'd say great additions, and for Hasbro, uh, definitely a way to boost the price of the figure, so good on them. So, overall, for, you know, all that, I'd say this is a great, great set to pick up. It's available in stores now, so if you want to get it as like a late Christmas gift or kind of holiday gift or just birthday gift or just want to get it for yourself, I'd say it's a, a pretty good deal, you know, you get three figurines for a retail price of $40, so that is a good deal, I would say, but, you know, it would be better if you found it on sale, but, you know, it, great figures great this thing is great so i i recommend it to add to your collection so uh, yeah not much else to say there it's been a
Final Fresh Hangout. Later, guys.